Hey guys, I am here with Jack. He is our Dutch hook build duck, the first one that hatched out. He is quite attractive already. You can tell that his head is shaped a little bit differently. But guys, we just got back from the post office. We have the box of eggs that John from Old Reading Farm has sent to us. I haven't opened them up yet. They're sitting here on the bed next to me. And we're going to open them up and we're going to see if any of the eggs survived the delivery through the blizzard, snowstorm stuff. They came from Connecticut, so I guess that's a little bit better than having come from Texas. That would have been disastrous, wouldn't it? But we're going to put Jack back. Jack back. I made a rhyme. We're going to put Jack back and we're going to open up these eggs. How about that? Well, look guys, I got this box. This is standard priority mailbox. I'm gonna see if I can open it up just by pulling this open. I'm so excited to see what he sent. I've been watching his videos and he has some cool stuff going on up there in Connecticut. He has, he has alpacas and an awesome garden. And he has some of the coolest chickens ever. Old Redding Farm, hey there. Thanks so much for participating in this egg swap. We are super excited to make this happen. Feel free to put up any sort of video on your channel about this. For us, please send some clips that you'd like included. Definitely a short intro and description of your channel. Maybe receiving the eggs and unboxing. Well, here you go. Shots of them in the incubator, shots of your chickens, etc. Each channel's clip will end up being around two minutes in our video, but feel free to include more. There you go. What he has done, John at Old Reading Farm, he has reached out to other YouTube video creators, and he has asked folks to participate in an egg swap where he sends eggs from his chickens and we send him eggs from our chickens and he's going to he's going to compile them all into one big video let's uh oh wiggle you around a little bit let's see what's going on in here oh whoa look at that he sent seeds bright lights cosmo seeds john thank you for this you are awesome and wonderful beyond belief. We will be sure to plant these and grow these. That is just wonderful. Now, he didn't send any hints or ideas about what the eggs are. We have, we have some leakage. We definitely have some leakage in here. They're in a a plastic egg box, um, egg carton, and they have some uh, packing inside the egg carton. Let's see. Now, I sent my eggs out to him about the same time he sent these to me. I haven't heard from him yet if he has received eggs from me or not. Let's see what we have. We have one really beautiful, clean, blue egg. Look at that beautiful dark chocolate. I have cuckoo marins. My cuckoo marins do not lay eggs this dark. That is remarkable and beautiful. Let's see. I have no idea what that would be. I know that he has some silkies. And some silky mixes and some silky Easter eggers. This is obviously an Easter egger, Americana, or a uh, cream leg bar. I'm not sure if he has those or not. Another beautiful dark brown egg. Here is a medium brown egg. Beautiful, beautiful. Have no idea what they are. Another green, bluish egg color. This one has some gooey stuff on it. I'm not sure if this is the one 
Well, I know which one's cracked. It's this egg that is cracked open. The white egg is cracked open. I don't think this one is cracked, but it definitely is going to have to be wiped clean. Here is a small egg. I'm bet betting that this is a silky or silky type egg. Now this is where the eggs are getting really gooey from where this one has broken. Yeah, it's just got like snot dripping off of it. That's the, the whites out of this egg that has broken. Look at that. Yup. Let's see. Yeah, this one is gooey fried also. That sweet little egg is almost round. I'm going to wash these off. You're going to say, Robert, you're not supposed to wash. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to wash eggs. I'm going to wash these off and see what we can do. Washing them off and them not hatching is better than throwing them out into the yard knowing good and well that they're not going to hatch y'all know me y'all know that i love babies of all kinds look at this look at that this is a connecticut egg look at that yeah that's just not good that's just oozing all in there okay we're gonna do a time jump and we'll be back in just a moment Okay, friends, out of 12 eggs, 11 made it. I've got them. It was these four that needed to be wiped off a little bit. This one still has some stuck to it. We will see what happens. But I'm hopeful. Always, always, always hopeful. We, uh, let me get this washcloth out of the way. I will, of course, give updates on these eggs along the way. From time to time, we will candle them. I am so excited about that. See, mine look a lot like this. This one is so much darker. I don't know if it's showing up on my camera or not. But that is just amazing. Here's... That one's still wet from where I wiped it off. There's another little round one. Let me put that one there. I'm going to mark them with the date using a crayon and get them placed inside the um, Brincy, uh, Brincy, Brincy uh, incubator. That was a squeaky door, wasn't it? Got too many kids in this house. Okay, so I have the eggs labeled with the date and the four that I have washed I put an X on that is these four here I really don't think this one is any good it has a line across it I don't feel a break in it I'm not sure if that's a break I don't think it is I'm going to put it there. These are the ones that didn't have any of the gooey stuff on them. So I'm going to put those there. I'm going to spot this wee little bitty, what I'm guessing is a silky egg. I know that he has some silkies. His favorite rooster, I think, is a silky. So I'm going to get these bars in to separate. And I have some tissue. So... The only reason this tissue is only to act as a buffer. It has no other purpose whatsoever. I learned this from uh, Miss Liz Zorab on her YouTube channel. Uh, and she said that she was told the tip directly from Brincy. Uh, they even recommend using the cardboard tubes. Uh, to lay them horizontally or cut them up and stick them in vertically to keep the eggs from moving around too terribly much. You want them to be able to move just a little. I think that's natural for the eggs. Also, while they're incubating, anytime I open the incubator to add more eggs or to check on the eggs to add water, I will touch them all. 
And of course, you know, I'm, me being who I am, I pray for them. So I lay hands on these eggs and I pray that they all hatch. That uh, doesn't always work. Luckily, you learn to those little duck eggs. That, that, those hook the ducks, they tried my patience. I tell you what, they, they were tough. I need, I'm going to have to get a better incubator, I think. Um, recalibrate that lion's incubator. This little silky egg. There you go, buddy. Look at that. I am just as pleased as punch. Especially this egg. That one. I wish I had a whole flock of egg layers that laid eggs like that. I hope that at some point throughout all this, he gives us a, an answer key, at least of possibilities of the breeds that he, he has. So that I will know if this is a Marin's or a Pena de Cinca or... Or a Barnvelder, or if they came from an olive egger collection, I'd like to know what the blue eggs possibly might be. But we will know once they hatch. You know, if this blue egg hatches with feather feet, then I know that it's probably an olive egger mix uh, of some sort. Some people like to cross. Americanas with uh, the salmon favorites, call them favoricanas. I'm not so sure about that. But obviously people are free to mix their chickens any way they want to. I, I certainly have some weird mixes going on. Most of them involving frizzles and neck and necks. I was talking to Rose at Wholesome Roots recently and she said, Well, what exactly pure breeds do you have? And I said... Breeds that breed true 100% of the time. I have smart hornas that breed true. And I have red naked necks that breed true. And I have cuckoo marins that sort of breed true. About half of the babies will hatch out golden and half will hatch out just silver cuckoo marins. But... Like with the blue lace, all of my birds have variety. Like with the blue lace red wine dots, they're all laced red wine dots. Some are going to hatch out black, some are going to hatch out blue, some are going to hatch out splash. Like with my silkies, some are going to be just plain standard silkies, some are going to hatch out frizzled, some are sizzle, some are satin, some are showgirls. There's variety in all of my flocks. Even my smart hornets, some of them are woolly. That means that they have the silky type feathers. I don't think I have any pen of chicken where it is just... Everything is just all the same. And it's guaranteed that every chick that hatches is going to look absolutely identical to the other. I mean, where's the fun in that? And so these are just going to be wonderful and sweet and amazing to have and of course Lolita the Amazon parrot is talking up a storm she is she's a very rude parrot anytime I'm talking she's going to talk well that does it I'm going to turn these upright the way they're supposed to be get them back on the shelf where they're supposed to be add water into here and get these things started so Maybe sometime next week we will handle them and see what's happening. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for watching. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I'm here with Jack. He is the little runner duck. Not a runner duck. 